how to trade Nvidia after five consecutive trading days down as you can see here finally today September 13 we had a green day and this price level is actually where we had gapped up back on August 18 to August 21 so quite uh, significant on the technicals and if you've been following this channel you know that we use data to support our trading strategies and so in this video we will explain and go over the unusual options activity that we detected today on Nvidia and show you how we are trading Nvidia based on these unusual options so without further ado let's get right to it for the options time and sales tape today we can see that um, for these large quantities here most of this was deep in the money very high deltas however we see these 2064 these were out of the money calls here for the October 13s 490 strike calls and 5 40 strike calls so uh, what is going on here let's take a deeper look at the options chain so for october 13 this is 30 days away when we take a look at those strike prices we can see here the 490 we have a total of 3000 volume and also the 540 we have a total of 2,700 volume. Both of these strike prices are greater than the open interest. So we know these are opening trades. We believe they are buying the 490 strike calls and selling the 540 strike call. And when you analyze the trade, you can see that this is a bullish call spread going long. When we take a look at the Greeks, this is a positive delta of 20. So we know this is going long. If it was bearish and shorting it, this would have a negative here. Okay. Um, also, the value of this trade, when we take a look at this trader, bu buying it for 919, selling it for 205. So let's take a look. Nine. Hundred and nineteen dollars. He sold it for two hundred five. So the debit spread was a total of seven hundred and fourteen that this trader paid for each contract. And since we have a total of two thousand sixty-four, this trade was about one point four million dollars. Now, this is um, not so much, relatively speaking, for NVIDIA because NVIDIA is a trillion dollar company. And so um, this is um, data, it, although it is bullish and going long, it is not as strong uh, when you take a look at the relative market cap of the company. And so that's something we have to do when we look at this data. And so... Um, when you uh, we adjust our um, deciding on our position sizing and everything, it will depend on how um, strong these signals are. So this signal not as strong compared to if we saw a value of let's say twenty or fifty million, right? Um, One point four million is very very uh, small. It's drop in the bucket for a trillion dollar company. Okay, so. Um, but uh, again, it is um, something where there was a trader in the market that had $1.4 million and decided to go bullish for whatever reason. And so um, you can see here that NVIDIA did make a 52-week high of 502. And we can see that in this trade here, break even over here is right here 
has to break 496 by October 13 in order this, for this trade to be profitable because it will continually decay in value towards that blue line. This purple line is only showing the profit on this date today. But as we move time forward, this is going to decay. And you can see that here, right? Um, eventually it becomes that purple line or the blue line, sorry. Um, you can see um, when we go back to today, the um, reason is that the Greeks here, you can see the theta here, is a negative 17. So this is decaying. Uh, the value of this uh, call spread um, is decaying quite rapidly. And so this uh, trade needs to start moving up soon as possible to start becoming profitable. Otherwise, it will start dropping down below this zero line. Whenever that curve is below this zero, this trade is at a loss. Okay. And so um, the way we trade this is because of this theta risk, um, we prefer to trade using a different strategy um, and also not putting in so much um, capital. Uh, you can see that over here, what we did was since they bought a lot of the 490 uh, strike calls, we decided to take the other side of it and sell um, because they push the price up when they buy it so we can sell it for higher premium. And so for every of these trades, we sold two calls and uh, then we bought the 480 strike calls and also the 495 strike call. Uh, one each to pair it all up. Uh, and so you could see now that this is our trade strategy. It's known as a butterfly. Uh, it's uh, about $175 per trade, which is much less than the um, $700 uh, call spread that uh, we had just um, looked at on the unusual options from this um, $1.4 million trade here, right? So um, you can see here that this costs a lot less and we can still profit if the price does go higher for NVIDIA. We can see that our Greeks here, we have a much smaller theta risk here of negative 1.71. So the risk of theta is not as high compared to the unusual options. And so uh, we want to um, uh, reduce that potential risk with um, option strategies. And also we have a good uh, risk to reward ratio here. You can see that we are risking the debit that we paid 175 and we have the potential to make Right here at that tip, this max profit is about $700. You can see it uh, showing up over here once my mouse is hovering over it. And then if it continues to go higher, it could reach a max here. This line here is 325. So that's about um, twice as much, so 200%. So that is a one to two risk to reward ratio. So that's quite good and uh, makes it more favorable um, for us. Uh, and uh, especially since NVIDIA has dropped down for the past five days. And we can see that if we were to zoom out and look at the charts just for this year, notice that uh, we never really quite made uh, five days of red down days. This is four days here, um, over here, um, over back here in June, another four red days, and another four red days over here, and here as well. 
Uh, notice there hasn't been five days of this during this year, another four days here, right? So here's the beginning of the year here. So this selling pressure on NVIDIA maybe is exhausted now, and that's why we are getting a green day today, September 13. All right, um, so hope everyone learned something. If you did um, or you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. It really helps our channel grow so we can continue to make more videos and share that with as much as uh, we can. And uh, if you're interested in other stocks that have unusual options activity, where we can predict the price with higher accuracy, make sure to join our membership where we share exclusive videos for our members when we detect unusual options activity. Click the join button on our channel homepage to learn more. We provide access to videos on our option strategies and how we update and manage our trades to maximize profits, diversify our portfolio, reduce risk, and ultimately beat the market because we believe everyone can beat the market with the data from unusual options activity. Thank you and take care everyone.